Hello, this is Jay A. McDonald, and welcome to another episode of Tour de Minecraft. This episode is called Creations, Constructs, and Craziness. This first world would probably fall into that craziness category. What this is, is a giant library. I call it Deep Library, and it's a deep library, as you see. See? Very, very deep. <laughs> no, couldn't do it. This is actually the first deep library. The real deep library is that one. And if you'll give me a second here to kind of fly up this. I had to use fill commands for this thing, and I couldn't fill it all at once. I had to fill it in segments, and they were fairly small segments, as in I could fill one or two rows at a time. The fill command has since got a bit more powerful. I think I'm just going to go in the top here. Of course, it's raining. Picked up Mobing's dislike for rain. It's contaminated me. Come on, fly. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, there's a floor? That's new. I thought this thing went all the way down to... Oh, it does. Basically, this is the deep library. And if you'll give me a moment to fly back up to the ceiling, you'll be able to see all the way down to where it disappears after I patch that hole. Uh, apparently, I took out the little enchanting table, so I'll put that back in. But this was a long time to build, even with fill commands. And it brings up some interesting things you might not have thought about unless you've built your own one of these. And that is, once you get down to the lower levels, those lava lakes burn bookshelves. Just give it a second here. Minecraft has decided that responding is an optional function of its programming. And there we go. So now, as you uh, see, as that light slowly fades, we have a really deep library. It can go about five higher, and it can go one deeper. And yeah, oh, the other thing I need to do is just apply a couple torches here. Not a lot of torches, just like that many. To provide a little bit of contrast for these thing here and fall down to the bottom to erase that last little bit of light. Well, yeah, you can't even really see the floor anymore. You just see the sky beyond. And I'm going to set it tonight. Set. I'm going to go late night. 16,000. There we go. That's the effect I was looking for. And that is Deep Library. This is World 2 in the Creations, Constructs, and Craziness. This one falls into the constructs. This world is literally named Space Constructs. I don't know why the space, but I know why constructs. Origi it's mostly teleporters. Originally, these two lapis frames here, let me turn down my sensitivity a little bit, would link to each other, but I didn't get around to building that circuit in. But what I did get around to doing is this which is a teleport chamber. Basically, you go in here, and you hit that button. Oh, it says your game mode's been updated. And every minute or so, it tells you that anti-griefer protocol's in effect. And when you... Ah, see, anti-griefer system in effect. And right now, I'm in adventure mode, so I can't mine any of this. Let me just hit the button. And room seals in 5, 4, 3, 2, 
one, the door closes, <clears throat> prepare for jump, these torches start warming up and slowly start turning on. And then when all of them turn on, I think it starts a countdown. Nope, it just teleports you. It teleports you to this exit room, and you step on that and you're out, and your game mode is no longer griefer protected. And it takes a little while for this system to cool down, and it opens in a little bit. And then you can go in here, and if you hit the button and decide you really don't want to do it, you can leave, and the room will still seal in the time, and it will still take all the time to teleport and all that stuff. Basically, it just has some command blocks and repeaters, and my pulse extender I developed... It works really well. Basically, you just have repeaters going this way. And then they funnel into a central repeater chain that comes back. And that can extend your pulse out really long ways for cheaper than doing things like this with your repeaters. But now that we have comparator extenders, it's really unneeded. As comparator extenders can do it much much faster and better. And this is the circuit that handles the anti-griefer system. Uh, or it's this one. Uh, this one handles the setting anti-griefer and this one handles telling you anti-griefer. I would have used a piston clock if I'd had one. Then over here I have another teleport chamber I think it is. Yeah, this one is much faster. You just go in here and hit the button, and I'm not sure if the torches on the floor do anything. This might have been a prototype. I think it was. Yeah, it's a prototype. This is a prototype for my extending stairs. Stairs that just extend from the wall instead of the, and remove the ceiling. I really like that. I've tried to put it in more games <coughs> or worlds, but I don't know of any I could. Really? I mean, there's a few, but yeah. And then over here, we have just stuff. Me trying to work with binary and using redstone. I've since figured out ways to do it that don't involve this complicated, huge mess. They're actually simple, and I'm surprised I didn't think of them before. Here's a little binary chart that I was using as a quick reference. In case any of you, uh, any of you know binary, and if you don't, here's a great tutorial. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, etc. Simple enough. <coughs> then I have a few other things, but nothing really worth worth going into here. So on to world three. This is the third world of creation, constructs, and craziness. This one falls into both the category of craziness and constructs. This one I call Minecart Rail Replicator. Because with a push of this minecart, the rail will start replicating itself on forever. Because the command block minecart, and I have a powered rail followed by a detector rail, It'll keep powering itself, and it's running a clone command. I will put that command in the description, and it will go until it hits a sheep. Sheep do, uh, do bounce these carts. I should probably put an auxiliary kill cart in. And they clearly can't, uh, don't like sheep. I'm just going to get rid of all the sheep. You ready for genocide? That's sheep. There. Genocide! There we go. That should work better now. And these will just continue on to the horizon. But the problem is, if you just put a minecart down and try to ride it, you don't go anywhere, because the minecart on a activator rail throws you out. Which is why... I have this second cart back here, which is loaded with another command I'll put in the description. It looks like that. 
that makes these writable by just setting whatever block it's over to being rail. You can now ride these things, which makes it really fun and a great way to draw a communication or a uh, endless railroad line in a creative map. But there comes a time when you just want to destroy the world too. So you can use one of these things to do that. Just copy out a rail and put this command in your cart. Sorry, this command's missing. There. I'm sure you can see what that's going to do. <laughs> and these can just destroy. Be careful, they will destroy the rack they're attached to and a neighboring squad. Now I'm going to kill that before it kills my server, my, my world. They do use quite a bit of resource to destroy the world. Come on, kill track. There. That should be enough devastation to stop it. These, these don't stop, by the way, unless you can catch up to them. And you can't catch up to them in a minecart for obvious reasons. And now you just have a. Uh, I wonder what happened here. You have a swath of newly destroyed land. Like that. And here's a few other swaths that I've previously done. Yeah. So. <laughs> No, I won't be uploading the destroyed world. Well, I might be, but you know, I'll have a, I'll have those ready. And the other thing I found out here is that if you take a minecart comparator or command block and you put it on top of an activator rail and you put a command in it, like say hi, if you just power that rail with a fixed current, it will spam the command. So you no longer have to hook your command blocks up to these great big repeating circuits and such. You can just put them in a little minecart on a rail and I think you'll be less lag this way. And that would be the last world for creations, constructs, and craziness.